Buffalo Mount Juliet man says he is lucky to be alive after his boat exploded while he was inside. Ryan Paris is at Vanderbilt recovering from first and second degree burns, and he talked to News 2's Stephanie Langston about this terrifying ordeal and how it could have ended much worse. Well, you can still see what's left of the boat here just outside of the pumps at the Walmart on Andrew Jackson Parkway. Ryan Paris tells me he had just fueled up and was changing the battery on the boat when it began to spark and then exploded. There was just gas fumes in there, and when I was hooking the battery up, there was a spark, and that's what ignited it all. A fireball engulfing Paris while working in the engine hatch. When I was hooking it up, it was just like come around. I was like, seen it come around everywhere is pretty scary. <laughs> but he was able to jump off the boat and despite his burns, Paris thought quickly, moving his truck with the 30 foot boat on fire away from the gas pumps. Because I know just fiberglass, it burns super quick. I've seen boats on fire and how fast they go up. And that's why I, was like, I knew we had to get it away. Otherwise it was about to be <laughs> way worse than it already was. That's when his adrenaline yeah, wore off scary. and reality yeah, set in. Probably the scariest time of my life and most painful, definitely, for sure. It was uh, it like it's just a pain that you can't you can't explain is over my whole body and just kept getting worse and worse and didn't go away. Paris says he's still in pain today, but in positive spirits, grateful he's alive was in a hurry and not thinking because I even said I smelt gas and I should have thought about it and it's, it's a freak accident you know it's unfortunate but it's glad I'm here so stuff happens and it can change your life in an instant so you got to be just be careful and be aware and safe and that's all you can do. Now a GoFundMe account has been set up to help Paris during his recovery process. We'll have a link to that on our website, WKRN.com. Reporting from Hermitage, Stephanie Langston, News 2. If we all just had a fraction of his positive attitude, that's amazing. Paris has a lawn care company, but he can't be outside this summer because he has more than 20% of his body burned. But he hopes to be released and back home recovering within the next few days without the need for skin grafts.